What's going on, YouTube Universe? It's your boy Xander Wayne here, the Dreadlock Nerd, and here we have some breaking news on Dreadlock Nerd Talk. Um, Entertainment Weekly has just released the first official photo of the Power Ranger movies suits. Um, according to comicbook.com, Lionsgate has revealed the new suits debuting in the upcoming Power Rangers movie reboot. Long-time Power Rangers fans will likely notice that the costumes are both lycra and spandex-free, just like they were in the TV series. Despite the material upgrade, director Dean Israelite believes the suits speak to the classic mythology of the long-running franchise. That is interesting. That is interesting. That is interesting. <laughs> the show is about kids coming of age, about metamorphosis. These suits needed to feel like they were catal catalyzed by these teens in their energy, their spirit. The filmmakers are hoping that the suit design helps separate the new Power Rangers from the other big action franchises. I think it will, in my opinion. I think it will. It's tricky finding new language for a superhero costume. Ours is an alien costume that grows on them. That's not man-made. You can't win everyone over, but we are trying to appeal to the more mature audience and gain new fans. You know what? I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> now, if you look to the picture... To my right, you can see what the costumes look like. And I'm going to be honest with you, I like them a lot. A lot of people are saying that, you know, they look like Iron Man suits and a whole bunch of other stuff. But if you actually think about it, they're just really just a super, super upgrade from the movie suits that we had for the Mind Monster Power Rangers movie that came out in 1995. If you ask me, they look more in line with the Giver suit. Than they do than the um, Power Ranger outfits or Iron Man outfits. I really like the way they did this one. It's really cool. I know, and it's fun because when they released the photo of um, Elizabeth Banks' take on Rita Repulsa, everybody was livid. Everybody was losing their mind. But I actually liked it. Another picture was released later on to show her an alternate look for her. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting too. People have to remember this is a reboot. So, and like I said before, the, the thing about a reboot is, as long as the main story and idea of the franchise is still intact, they can, they can almost kind of do what they want. Almost. Meaning that they can redesign a lot of costumes. You know, remember, Power Rangers is based off the Super Sentai um, series from Japan. So there's a lot of things that the American versions changed about the Japanese footage. So it only makes sense that if they're starting the reboot with a movie and not with a show, then they could take certain liberties to redesign certain things. Okay? But in any case, I I, I like I like the I like the new suits. I like them. Like I said, they're a cross between like the Giver they're like a cross between the Giver suit, uh Batman's um, suit from the Dark Knight trilogy, and of course, an upgrade from the Power Ranger movie suits from the 1995 movie. That's me. I can't wait to see them in action. And if the Green Ranger is gonna be in the movie, I can't wait to see his suit. I mean, it's probably gonna just look like this, but I can't just wait to see his shield. I can't wait to see how that turns out. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the new Power Ranger suits for the Power Ranger movie reboot. Post, in, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about these suits. Um, if you if you if you like them, let me know. Um, stay tuned for more breaking news on Dreadlock Nerd Talk. Has news comes to me, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.